Happy Saturday, Mount Olive. And anybody else listening in, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you've had a great week for that matter. Uh, we've been doing devotions in Nehemiah this week. Uh, some really good stuff that's been brought out by all the folks doing the, devo the devotions each day. And we're going to continue that today. We're going to do a short devotion uh, in Nehemiah. And today we're going to be in chapter six. Um, really enjoyed John's devotion yesterday. And some of that will tie in what I'm uh, with what I'm going to talk about today. So really appreciate everybody and their um, their persistence and diligence in doing the, the devotions. It's it's I, I've enjoyed them for sure. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started in uh, in our devotion today. And I'll share my screen and we're going to look at just a couple of verses. And the first verse that we're going to look at will be um, our scripture from Nehemiah. And it's going to be Nehemiah chapter six, verse nine. Uh, chapter 6, verse 9, and just so we know, this is the time that uh, Nehemiah and all the folks who have joined with him to build the wall, um, have they've, they've done that. They've completed that task, and, and now there are people who are trying to get Nehemiah um, to pull away from that, and they're, it, it's false teachers. They're trying to lure him away from that work so that they can... Um, uh, remove his influence. They're, they're trying to, to pull him away. They're, they're out to get him. And so uh, here's a verse we want to look at today. Nehemiah 6, 9 says, For they all made us afraid, saying, Their hands shall be weakened from the work, that it be not done. Now, therefore, O God, strengthen my hand. And so if we think about this, yesterday in John's devotion, he, said, he was talking about all the people who gathered together in unity to build this wall, to rebuild this wall, uh, and Nehemiah and all the people that came alongside him to do the work. And John talked about how uh, it's important uh, for them, and it's important to us, to be just willing vessels, right? Willing to do the job at hand, and when that job's completed, to move on to the next. And so during those times when there's there's work to be done and when we're in the middle of the work it's very easy for us to uh to try to be distracted it's very easy for us to get tired during the work that we're doing for god and and so when we look at this verse here today and it says their hands shall be weakened from the work that it be not done you know there's times in ourselves when we try to do the work under our own strength under our own power that we are going to get tired we are going to get weary we are going to feel like quitting uh every day most days as a matter of fact you feel like quitting when there's work to be done and, and you just you just get wore down and but the, the last part of this verse says now therefore O god strengthen my hands strengthen my hands when i'm trying to do the work give me the strength that i need so i want to think about something today if, if you think about Things that, that have required you to use your hands uh, throughout the years. You know, I, I think about uh, a rock climber and how important it is for a rock climber to be able to have that grip and to find the, the tiniest little crevice and to be able to, to have the strength to pull themselves up. And you know that there's times if you're, if you're climbing and you're pulling yourself up, your, your hands are going to get tired, right? And your hands get weary and you're like, oh, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to to make this next move or to, to make this next pull if you're climbing the wall. I also think about uh, a gymnast. You know, you see gymnastics, um, a gymnast who, who have to uh, swing on the high bar and it's very important that they have a grip and it's very important that they have strength in their hands. And, and so in both of those examples, when you start to lose your grip, you, you throw chalk on your hands right and, and you do everything you can I just got to chalk up I've got to I've got to tighten up my grip so I've got to I've got to add something to to try to make sure that I can keep going on right and so um, it's easy for us sometimes to want to ourselves throw a little chalk on our grip and for ourselves to to try to provide strength and, and that's just not where it is we, we need to know where our source of strength comes from and, and here it says oh God strengthen my hand so when you find yourself weary when you find your grip starting to loosen a little bit just remember where your your source of strength comes from and that is from God another scripture I want to look at today is Psalm 28 just a couple of verses verse 7 and 8 it says the Lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusted in him and I am helped 
Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. And so that's a good reminder for us today that our strength comes from the Lord. Our strength doesn't come for ourselves. And so please be encouraged today, all of us, all of you who are willing vessels, just uh, ready to be used for God, and maybe you find yourself uh, getting a little bit worn down, losing your grip. Just remember that, that the Lord is where your strength comes from. God is the one who provides your strength. It's nothing you can do on your own. And just like John said yesterday, it's important that we all unify together. Now more than ever, everybody has a purpose. You have a purpose that God has gifted you with. And whatever it may be, you know, from sleeping to, from sweeping the floor to delivering Sunday's message, they're all important in the kingdom of God. And we have to bond together to be able to, uh, to move from, from one job to the next, build one wall to the other. And I like how this scripture says that the Lord is my strength and shield. In Nehemiah this week, it's been a lot of focus on my, that wall that they were real rebuilding, right? And they came together and they built a wall uh, for the city. And just remember that God is, is that for us. That wall, when they were finished, was, was a solid uh, source of protection. And that's exactly what God is for us. He's our shield. He is what's going to protect us. He's going to keep us safe. He's going to keep the enemy out. But we have to be obedient to him. We have to find our grip every day. We have to ask him to strengthen our hands, and we have to just keep on keeping on. So today, I, I pray that everybody is well. I hope you get a little bit of something out of this. Know that God is your source. He provides the strength. And whatever it is you're starting to grow weary of, just look to God. He'll give you the strength. He'll give you the grip. He'll, he'll strengthen your hands so that you can keep on doing his work. Love you all today. Hope you'll join us at church tomorrow at 11 at Mount Olive. Uh, either in person or online. Uh, and so we hope to see you soon. You guys have a great day.